Hello friends today I will answer a question that worries all farmers, namely why after planting tomato seedlings in open ground the leaves begin to turn yellow. I will tell you about the causes of yellowing and when to worry and when you need to do simple farming techniques and your tomatoes will be fine. First I will tell you about the reason for yellowing of tomato leaves, which you don't need to worry about i.e. when you plant a seedling in open ground it takes root and you can see that the upper leaves are green. Bright color no twisting no yellow spots but lower leaves on the same bush they are paler and yellowed nothing wrong with that. And now I will explain why since your seedlings grow on a shelf under a lamp or on a windowsill they do not receive ultraviolet light, immediately later when planting in open ground or greenhouse this sheet is already working on its own these are old leaves that do not adapt to outside conditions. So week after planting seedlings trim the lower leaves very easy to do this you can use garden shears or regular pruners but I prefer garden shears they have a thin snout, and when trimming the leaves does not damage the stems and leaves a normal cut from any tomato bush you can cut off no more than three lower leaves. At once and pruning of leaves is carried out no more than once a week, also make sure that after pruning at least five real leaves remain on this bush which will be necessary for the normal functioning and further development of the tomato bush. Now we move on to the second type of leaf yellowing, I think you often find this on tomatoes this is when the leaves are all green but there is a clear part that is yellowing and drying feels like a disease has attacked or a pest has started and this is nothing but sunburn can be on seedlings, because you do not soften the seedlings before planting in open ground but simply plant them in the garden in the hot sun. And also yellowing of the leaves can be noticed by gardeners who apply direct watering to the leaves and not watering under the roots as properly. The drops on the leaves and the sun create a magnifying glass effect and only burn the leaves on the tomatoes only where there is a drop therefore water only on the roots and in no case do not water the tomatoes in the heat or in the sun. You can't rush to remove the leaves like partial yellowing the main leaf tool works perfectly and feeds the bush but there are also types of yellowing leaves. Thirdly if you see it you should take immediate action when you have the opposite lower leaves are green and the upper and upper leaves are yellowing luckily there are no signs of yellowing of the leaves on my tomatoes, because I did fertilize the tomatoes on time. And check it fully but if you are yellowing like that then this is a clear sign that your tomatoes are having nutrient deficiency basically they are deficient in potassium calcium and iron which can be corrected by using organic or mineral fertilizers. I can immediately say that mineral fertilizers work faster but organic ones are more beneficial for tomatoes, you have a prolonged effect of organic wood ash infusion is best suited for this there is a video on how to cook it in the channel, and I will also leave it at the end in the upper right corner or under each bush. Add a handful of dry wood ash and mix with the soil and with subsequent watering the bush will take nutrients and from mineral fertilizers use those containing calcium and potassium potassium humate is perfect for this well. If you do not make this top dressing then you risk your tomatoes slowly the land will grow and develop and also you will not harvest because the tomatoes will shed flowers. Therefore after watching this video be sure to check your tomatoes for signs of yellowing of the leaves I am talking about. And if the information from this video is useful for you, don't forget to like.